I was just checking if to see my potatoes were boiling away steadily and they are. Strange thing about potatoes, when they've been boiled, they, they're cheeky buggers actually because they, um, when you check in them, they're uh, solid. So you come through here and you sit down and you ponder for a few moments and when you return, they've, they're all turned to, well, turned to liquid. I think they just do it on purpose. But I was thinking about uh, sausages. I said, I'm not going to give you the name of the butcher or the location, but uh, I said to the butcher's assistant, I said, um, oh, excuse me, I bought some beef sausages recently. Uh, and all me do, and I said, um, could I just ask you one question, please, about them? And she said, yes. I said, um, do you put gravel in your sausages? And she nodded her head and she said, uh, and then she said, yes. I said, I thought so. I said, I've... I've experienced lots of uh, time I eat your sausages, there's gravel in them. She said, well, it's either gravel or booms. She said, we decided to, to, to pack up the weight and uh, rip the customer off a little bit more. We'd uh, add some bones, so it's maybe bones, but we do put gravel in as well. So I said, um, no. And she says, well, you know, you've got to think about things uh, as well. She said, because... Um, you know, we're lucky we don't uh, put, uh, well, I don't want to say it, I don't want to be. Let me put, put, put this another way. Do you ever remember in the old USSR when um, there was a gentleman who lived in a little village um, surrounded by forest? And uh, there was lots of people went to the forest for shooting game or, or for uh, logging purposes. They worked in forestry and the lots of them went missing and nobody could uh, fathom as to what had happened to them. There were lots of investigations. I think there were 24 people in total had gone amiss. And um, anyway, eventually the the uh, gentleman who was a um, well, most spirited kind, he was um, always a bit of a good Samaritan in the village, uh, always taking pots of stew and you know bits of beef and beef wellington around to the houses and stuff and inviting people around for dinner and stuff like that. And there was never a shortage of meat. And uh, everyone wondered where he was getting so much of the the, the beef and stuff, and uh, anyway, uh, it uh, transpired, uh, I think he, I think somebody had said, uh, I haven't seen Mr. Mr. Blogoroff for, for a long time or something, and uh, he says, well, you're eating him, and they all laughed and stuff, and she said, no, you are, uh, you're eating, uh, Ivor Blogoroff is, uh, is on the dinner plate, and um and we got arrested, and uh, I think he's, I think he's still being held in prison. Uh, I think he got the maximum prison sentence in Russia, which is quite a long time, I think. But um, or the USSR, I should say. But um, quite extraordinary. To, uh, well, I'm not going to make it uh, public, you know. You can work it out for yourself. But I, I, I'm thinking this about food in general, um, because um, ingredients are so expensive nowadays, and uh, and the the raw product is very difficult to source. I'm starting to think that uh, there's anything in the uh, the food chain now, and uh, I'm starting to think that uh, you know, these clothing banks that you get. I start to think lots of the the clothes are chopped up and put into uh, into these uh, microwave meals and stuff, and uh, I start to think that the only thing you can eat nowadays is an apple. And um, or uh, a pomegranate. Unfortunately, if I went to my 
I don't shop there often. But, um, as I mentioned before, if I shop in a local cooperative, there's always somebody who bashes my heels with their trolley. So I stopped going in because, because I kept doing it. Well, not, not just one person, lots of people, especially around at the biscuit counter. Well, the, you know, the, the aisle with the biscuits and the you know, confectionery and stuff. And um, where was I? So, um, yeah, so I, I inquired one time, I said to the, uh, the assistant, which um, I, won't, I won't describe her, but if I, if I said that she um, had a rather vacant look about her, it might, uh, it might uh, ring some bells. But I said to her, do you have any pomegranates at all? Which is, um, I'm sorry, I says, do you have any pomegranates? And uh, she took me around to the, the uh, poppadoms. I said, I don't want poppadoms, I want a pomegranate. And uh, so she, just, she didn't know what it was, obviously, and she, uh, she says, uh, I think you're just making it up. And I said, I'm not. I said, I want like a pomegranate. So she called her. Well, she rang a, some kind of alarm system and uh, the manager darted down the stairs and said, what is it? And he says, he's making things up and he's asking for things we don't have. And I says, I'm not, I'm looking for a pomegranate. And the, uh, the store manager on this occasion said, uh, I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it at all. And I says, oh well. I says, I, I don't know where to get a pomegranate. But I'll, uh, I might have to search online.